Our most valuable asset is that we ensure that our future is going to be secured by the knowledge and practice of our young people. Most children do not have access to farms, so they don't ever get the hands-on experience needed to really inspire them to want to go into that field. We're a community that at one time was farming. That's what this community was built upon. Aquaponics actually brings an innovative, exciting, and interesting new way of farming right to the classroom. My family's been in this community for a hundred years. My grandparents immigrated here from Spain because of the farming. That kind of went away, and now I'm seeing it kind of coming back, and one of the reasons is this project. This idea will help young children overcome the barriers to farming because it will bring the farm to the children. It's organizing people and rejuvenating uh, that feeling that this still is a farming community, but we're just modernizing. Well, this isn't traditional farming, and so there's a lot of young people who are going to see this as modern agriculture, where there are so many crossover skills with the sciences and the maths and, and, and the agricultural studies that this is going to bring a new audience of students into agriculture that probably would have never thought about being in agriculture to see students again and families again who have kind of drifted away from our roots coming back to our roots and, and bringing this, the industry, agricultural industry, into the century that we're dealing with right now. So now we're looking at alternative ways to save energy, to reduce the consumption of water, to not rely on the depleting soils that we have, and to focus on what we can do right now. It takes farming and digging in the dirt with a shovel to something more scientific. So the way these systems work is that the fish produce ammonia, and the ammonia is transported by pumps or by gravity to a grow bed. The bacteria inside the system will break down the ammonia into nitrates and nitrites. Now the plants in each system grow using nitrates. Once the water is brought to the grow bed stage of the system, the plants actually filter out the water for the fish. And then the water is gravity fed back into the reservoir thus creating a sustainable water cycle. Leafy greens and tomatoes do really well in a, in a water-based system, like this one here and this one here, not media. Um, some of your hardier greens, like you're seeing here, onions, parsley, they like a media-based system. What's the favorite thing that you're growing in here? Um, I love chives. Yeah. I put them in everything. Yeah. I think it already has enticed. Uh, a lot of our, our students and also the community and, and some of the younger members of the community because it's something they can see, something they can, they can uh, learn how the process works. Um, it's hands-on, which is definitely something that gets people of all ages engaged, but definitely young people. But I, I just feel the synergy that's, that's growing in the community and in, in, on our campus. There's a lot of excitement going on here at Delaware High School right now uh, with the, the aquaponics project. It's uh, really galvanizing this community, bringing them out to the farm. There's so many crossover skills uh, from science and math. Uh, the, the agriculture program is just really going to be very exciting around here. And this could potentially be a great pilot program for other schools around the country. The opportunity for a sustainable uh, farm on campus, providing healthy, nutritious food for these programs and cafeteria programs where students are working the farm and then cooking the food, the nexus just makes a lot of sense. They know there's a problem with too much fertilizer, too much pesticide in the water. They know that there's minimal land, they know there's minimal water. They hear what's going on in society, they hear what's going on on the news, and they're frightened because just telling them there's a problem isn't enough. You have to show them how you can fix it. This is going to enable people to learn how to grow their own food, but it's also going to be competitive with traditional farming. It's going to be in the very near future that downtown high-density urban aquaponic farming will eclipse the capital opportunity with respect to traditional farming. It's possible to produce enormous amounts of food in small areas with no soil and the use of water and fish. Scalability in aquaponics is worldwide. With aquaponics, I think we're going to solve a lot of problems. We're going to solve immediate food hunger issues and food supply issues, water, water conservancy, um, pesticides, fertilizer, don't use any of that, you can't use any of that, there's no weeds. The amount of possibility in just a contained system in their backyard, a lot of these kids are like, I had no idea. 
In my welding class, it's been great to see the kids get involved and build, uh, pro build the tables for the aquaponics project. We came up with an idea to put these supports in because when we put the weight on it, the expanded steel would fall in. And that ran at a buck twenty-three a foot. I think doing the aquaponics tables has taught Tanner and myself a lot of responsibility and communication. It inspired me to actually get things done on time. And so the table is going to represent our work and how long the tables actually hold up. It's kind of the idea of building a foundation for something you know that's going to be great in the future and um, really help out the community. So our goal for Delaware Aquaponics is to not only supply the cafeteria and culinary programs with produce but to come to the weekly farmers market and supply the local community as well with our produce. The Quantum Growth Institute is working to bring this learning to schools around the country and around the world and the product of their efforts is going to be the food. They're going to be able to grow food as a result of the learning process which again will be used immediately right in their local environment. I saw your article in the Loomis News about the aquaponics that you're doing for Del Oro and we would love to bring a system like that into our home. What's good for me is to really be able to take what I've learned and apply it somewhere else. I'm getting phone calls from parents about, you know, how does this look on their transcript, which is, uh, which is really cool. So you can entertain some kids and, and into new ideas about what they might be able to do for a career. And that's my hope.